everybody welcome to the demo for spindle uh, here it says the kickstarter demo it ends august 30th and uh, right now it's september 1st actually so the kickstarter has just concluded goals were reached as far as i'm aware at least uh, the game is well on its way it looks great it the, <laughs> the kickstarter video kind of threw me basically it gave me an emotional gut punch because the dev explained how uh this is a game about death and dying basically it's not it does it's not that drab or anything right it's, it doesn't look depressing at all or anything it has a twist to it you'll see in a second but what he said was he was basically was coping with his fathers and his fathers in laws death we did that like one week from each other or something like that and i thought like man you know <laughs> like <laughs> just gonna be choking up in front of my computer screen that's crazy uh this game pits you against kind of undeath i would like to say the story is as follows you wake up as the grim reaper and you're being guided by a pig and they tell you what to do and basically you have to find out why in this world nobody is dying anymore that sounds like a really interesting promise uh by promise i mean premise also in this short demo there are checkpoints you'll restart in case you die your progress will not be saved when you exit the demo perfect this game is made in germany by the way so uh hello fellow countrymen <laughs> uh it, it looks great actually i have to check the options uh, one thing that is very weird is if i use my little volume wheel i can't see the game volume like it, it just doesn't show up like the volume bar doesn't show up on my screen like up we have to leave this place quickly this is the pick by the way i would like to use my controller here it has full controller support it's great i just booted it up for like a minute to test whether you know my controller works i have a habit of killing them how could you be so careless there we are come on bonehead follow me Okay, let's quickly look into this. I yes, I want to bring the music down to f 40. Yeah, 40 and then sounds down to 40. This is what I'm usually playing at. Okay. Um, press L to, to walk. Left stick, pretty standard. I don't think we can do anything else until they tell us. I think there are dodge rolls and things like that in this game. And I know you can hide like in the grass and stuff like that. Just seen it in the trailer basically. But man, the pixel art is already so nice. I think they just decided on going with a pig here because they did a lot of uh, death streams and community stuff and then they pixeled the pig and everybody loved it. So they were like, you know what, the pig is in the game now. I can, I can, I can respect that decision. It sounds like something I do as well. Here's about what's going on. You touched the spindle. Now we have to deal with it. Come on. Okay. First, let me go down here. Oh, this is a wall. At first I thought, like, are those clouds or something like that? Can't walk past here, okay. Can I walk into this? Nope. Okay, better follow the pig then. Yeah, I love the pixel art style. I've, I think there's something to be said for pixel art without outlines. Because when I do pixel art, I always put outlines around everything. I like the strong uh, gravitas it creates. But without outlines, it's, it's a really interesting style. Almost like picture book-esque you know there you are follow my lead feel it's here can we trust the pig why do i feel so paranoid man let's go piggy there's a big lock dang it not here either no dice but we have to get in there somehow there's a crow there Okay, see you later, Crow. Locked. Press A to interact. We have to come up with something else. Maybe there's a tunnel in here. Let me just quickly decrease the volume for me a little bit. It's a little weird that I can't see my volume slider, like I said, but... Cemetery of Mar. Hmm, I have to get in there somewhere, you say. I, I thought maybe I could get through there, like through the house somehow, but okay. Maybe I can just get around. 
Up is Mar Cemetery, to the right is Mar. What is this? Oh, maybe I can squeeze in. Wow, I'm surprised. I mean, you are a little fat, piggy. <laughs> Looks like I can open the gate from this side. Check this out. Dang. What a good boy or girl. Okay, uh, this town looks not as happy as I thought it would be. We need to get to the cemetery, you say. There's some lights here. Oh, and there we go, I can go in. Hello. Why are you crying? It's so terrible. Okay, what's so terrible? Hey boy, what are you doing here? Oh. Uh, this is my father. It was an earthquake tonight that I heard screams coming from the cemetery. When I went to check, I found him lying there on the ground. He's the mayor and all that, but I can't imagine why he would go there this late at night. Uh, boy, something evil. It's been an incredible pain ever since. I'm out of ideas. Uh, you have to rest. I know it sounds strange, but he should have already died by now. Say what? You have to go to the cemetery? I don't think that's a good idea, but if you insist. Oh, it's just that easy, huh? You received the cemetery key. Thank you. Uh, can I read this book on the table? No, I can't. Okay, I'm off then. <laughs> Thanks. So, I gather we can only enter buildings that have lights on? Because I can't seem to get into these and there's also no problem that says the door is locked or something like that. But well, let's see what's in the cemetery. What could possibly be that important here? Hello. Very good. Go, go, go. Oh, by the way, there's a lot of language settings in the beginning. This game is like available in German, English, French, Italian, Spanish and Japanese or something like that. I hope I didn't forget any of the languages there, but it's, it's nice. I always encourage language learning via games and having a big, like language selection especially on an indie game is perfect man you could also be playing this in german right now actually or japanese i guess this is worse than i expected i have to find out what's going on yeah what are those black roots like they're pulsating a little you see that a little ominous the crows don't seem to be bothered at all not readable okay what do the gravestones say if only i'd support its spindle there will be a special graveyard in the game where you can immortalize someone on a tombstone. RIP. <laughs> as long as we are, you will be too. A little ominous? What does this say? We help you, get, you'll get well soon. Thanks. What do we have in here and why is there grass on the rock? This is definitely the right place. But be careful, something is wrong here. Why does this look like a boss arena to me? The level, it's just the average German graveyard. Uh, screen transition, please. There we go. Can I not get through this? What if it happens if I jump in? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Piggy. You could have could have advised me, but all right. A little don't jump into the abyss would have gone a long way. I know this is an action game, so. Get ready for me to fail. My brain is exclusively programmed in turn-based language. How could this even get here? What you see here is part of my strength. What the heck is this pig? <laughs> is this like Ganon? Or rather your strength? Dramatic music. Can I get a Grim Reaper Scythe or something? Nice. Great animation work. Oh yes, you've regained some of your power. Press X to swing the scythe. Yes. Kind of expected, right? Like, you can literally reap some grass here. Can we destroy skulls? Doesn't seem like it. It just vibrate funnily. Oh, now I don't even need to go around there. That feels good. Well, don't, don't run into the abyss. Why does it default? Why did it just make me like hit the pick? That, that was strange. 
can't hit the lever apparently. Is there anything under those bushes? I mean, there's the white thing. I think this is just health, maybe? Judging by our hearts being white. Ah, okay. This does this, so now I need to retract the bridge. Okay, that's cool. A uh, little bit of puzzle solving here. Nothing wrong with that. I like some puzzle in my action games. Then I can be like, you know what? I can take my time for something. Oh, look at this. Dang, that feels good. Mm, okay, I'll just go around here for now. I love that you can stand on it when it expands. Also, time to terrorize the local fauna. <laughs> standard, standard, standard game, man. Standard action adventure. Okay, where's the Binding of Isaac block? There it is. Well, accidentally jumped into the abyss. Don't worry about it. Okay, just hit this. This connects here, and I guess this will, yep, just smack into that. This, this screen shake is also very satisfying, actually, like... Plunk! <laughs> okay. Sorry, I just love playing around with that stuff. Let's do this. Retract. And then I guess we'll just expand this one. Surf it, yeah. <laughs> nice. Now we got this key. A little key, simple locks can be opened with it. So now we need to go back, I guess. Because it won't fit into the golden lock if, you know, Zelda has taught me anything. Please don't squish me. No squishing, please. Will, will those guys... Yep, okay, they will. <laughs> okay. Uh, some bats, excuse me. I need the coin. Don't know what for yet, but I definitely need it. Also, let me just reap some bushes. It doesn't seem like bushes can drop currency. And those are turtles. Or roly polies or something like that. What the heck, dude? Okay. Don't worry, I got it. You found a monster part. In the real game, you surely need them. In the demo, I guess not so much. Okay, roly polies going crazy. Okay. Let's reap. Hello, son. What? Okay. Two hits. Doesn't seem too punishing. Okay, now this. A golden key. Also, this, like, it's just sealed, huh? Okay, so now... Just head back here, I guess. Whoops. Excuse me, Binding of Isaac block. There we go. And I think just expand this bridge, right? No, I want to surf it. Yes, there we go. Okay, at least halfway. <laughs> it's so satisfying, man. What a great design decision. Okay, time to get bodied. That looks like a boss room to me. What is it? I, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I, I really couldn't. It is a guy with a mouth. Wah, okay. He seems to work similarly to those roly polies. Oh yeah, there is one of them. There, there's no dodge roll or anything, at least not, not yet, I guess. Also, there's no boss health bar. Will, will I get punished for ignoring the roly polies? Who knows? <laughs> okay. Please stomp. When a roly poly gets like flipped right next to me, I will engage. If not, I will just ignore them for now. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Everything is rolling. Okay. Okay, that seems to be a new face. Angry man. Please, you're the first boss. Don't kill me. He just keeps butt stomping. Okay. Uh, the roly poly hit me. That's not nice. Yeah, I think I should I should kill those two guys. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Okay. Maybe I should just kill this guy instead. 
Got him. Easy peasy. Or, or did I get him? Or did they kill me? I mean, it looked like I killed him. Okay, don't worry, I killed him. Esports champion. Nice. I'm kind of surprised I did first try, to be honest. Hello, boy. Thank you. You released me from my torment and I'm finally free. Before I go, I would like to give you the last spark of my life force. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. Thanks. Thanks, Grandpa. Now the real question is, why does Grandpa die when we kill this dude? The blob dude. Did really well, as you can probably already guess. I am deaf. My strength was destroyed and I could only transfer my essence into this pig. That is great. My strength is split into five parts, but you've already found one of them. I have to find the other parts too. If you say so. Hi, this is where this little demo ends. You can now freely explore the area and discover one or two secrets. If you enjoyed the spindle demo, we would be thankful for your support. That is so quick, man. I'm, I'm so disappointed, but I can reap some grass. Let's just quickly take a look around, just because everything has changed a little at least. It's now, it's now very bright. Oh, the screen just weirdly shook there, and maybe, maybe a bug. Ah, yeah, seems like they're repairing the town now. Don't be alarmed, I'm just cutting some grass here, and then I'm cutting some chickens. Okay, yep, yeah, they're legend of zelda in me. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay. I'll stop. Last night's earthquake caused a lot of damage. I'm glad that our neighbors support us so much. Oh, now we can actually go into some houses, huh? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Okay, are you trying to cope or... I cook for our neighbors who help us so well. And everything will be as it has always been. Alright, nice. Let's go visit the house where the grandpa was before. Also cut all the grass. Where's your husband? I have the feeling the other villagers don't even want to believe it. Like believe what? Why is a cryptic woman? Uh, hit the chicken and run away. <laughs> Watch me getting murdered by a chicken. Oh, can I? Ah, yeah, I can. Okay. What is down here? Why is there no music anymore? Okay, it just stopped temporarily. Uh, doesn't seem like I can get through this. I was sure I was onto something here. Can I walk through a wall or something? Nope, okay. Sad. Okay, what else you got here? A chicken, bunch of farmers. Let me invade your home space. Okay, let me evade your home space. Just cut some grass. I love the music in this game. I wish the demo was longer. The plants aren't thriving this year, but everything will be fine in the end. I didn't notice an earthquake. That's me. Sometimes when I just sleep straight through earthquakes is kind of unsettling, actually, to think that people could die and I would just sleep through it. The Book of the Brave. In this book, those who had the courage to support the game will be written down. Go to our Kickstarter page to find out more. Yes, this is uh, where they will write down all the names of the Kickstarter guys. It's a cute idea and like also kind of a staple at this point, I guess. They said there are some secrets and I feel like maybe the thing in the middle is one of them, but I also don't really know how you would uh, pass, get past a big box, to be honest. It seems like there's never anything in the grass. Can't enter this apparently. Not really sure why, but... Hello, woodcutter man. I lost my key and can no longer enter my house. Yeah, okay. What is this? Oh, is this an enemy? You're an egg? Are you an enemy? Okay, you are an enemy. I was like, I don't know, like, are you a baby that's following me? Do I need to feel bad yet? Okay, some more health. You just avoid the eggs. Ah, yes, piggy, you know what to do. Get the heck in there, please. 
Okay, I mean, I can see the key over there, but I don't know how to command the pig to get in there. So let's kill some walking egg dudes. Because last time the pig just did it by itself, right? Like, or I guess death just did it by itself. Uh, is there anything else up here? Seems like it. It's an entire pier here. Is there a fishing minigame? There has to be. There's another rod there. Hi, you scalawack. You want to fish? Just stand at the end of the pier and press A. Don't mind if I do. Fishing rod. Press A to set the direction and power of the throw. With L you can move the bait. If a fish has taken the bait, press A rapidly to pull it in. Press B to stop. Okay. Uh, I don't necessarily want to cast it here. Can I not cast it down? Okay, just do this. Animal Crossing style. Okay, pull him in, boys. Uh, how the heck did you escape me? You monstrosity. <laughs> Blonk. Okay, come on! Why does it... Why does it turn red? Maybe you need to pull and if it turns red you need to let it go and then you need to pull it again. I don't really understand how fishing works in the real world, so if you... If this is how you do things, then... Okay. What is this? I caught a green trout. The size is 17.21 centimeters. Not bad. In a surf boys. Uh, okay. That's a cool little mini game. I love me some fishing. Can I plunder your house? Oh, they're exhibiting your catches here? Yes. That is fantastic. Fishing is fun by Piscarius Fisher. In number 32, the secret is not to pull on the fishing rod like a savage. Patience and good observation are keys to success. Yeah, I wish the little tutorial prompt would just have said if the line turns red. Stop yanking the rod like a freaking idiot. But I got the hint eventually. So that means everybody can do it. <laughs> But the, the real question is how the heck do I get the pig to enter the hole? Also, what the heck is down here? Just nothing? That doesn't seem right. Seems like a secret area, man. Okay then. Let's quickly return to that, that hole in the ground. Hello, egg, egg boys. Pig, you don't want to dive in or anything, right? Like, I mean, if I could just get you to, you know, like, take part in something here, I, I will just jump off the cliff then. See you. <laughs> we'll just get beaten up by an egg then. I can't see how else I would be able to get the key. I guess it's not a demo feature then. Okay then, you know what, guys? For now I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. This was very short and I intended it to be. I thought this would be longer of a demo. Uh, it doesn't really showcase the game that well. It just showcases that it looks beautiful and it can be beaten like an, by an absolute amateur like myself. But nonetheless, don't forget to wishlist this game on Steam. I'm gonna throw all the important links down in the description below as always. Don't also forget to uh, try this demo. There might still be some secrets I haven't found yet. But for now, thank you very much for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, I'll see you around soon and bye bye.